Hello everyone! Happy Black History Month! So of course this bag came in at the perfect time in February. You already know the brand. It's gonna be Brandon Blackwood. Beef of Brandon Blackwood. But I was so so excited about this bag. But unfortunately I won't be keeping it and let's talk about it. The bag is going to be this gorgeous antelope hide. It is the Nia bag and this retails for $5.75 at Neiman Marcus. If you watched my wishlist video, you will know that I said I wanted this bag, but it was out of stock and I didn't know when it was going to come back in. I was already quite afraid of this being a animal hide bag. I'll get into that in a moment and uh, I still wanted it. And so all of a sudden, one night I was like, you know what, it hasn't come back on brandonblackwood.com. Let me see if I can find it on like a different site. Lo and behold, this was the last one left on Neiman Marcus and it's just stunning. Like, it is quite spacious on the inside so you could fit your phone, wallet, makeup, the daily essentials and things that you need when going out. I love this bag because you can wear it three ways. I can wear it once as a clutch and then it has two strap links. Let me show you. So the first strap length is going to be as a shoulder bag out and about on the town, running around, super cute. I could see this in the winter time. The second strap length is going to be as a crossbody, which is very cute. Now let me go over why I won't be keeping this bag, unfortunately. And the main reason is honestly just because it's an animal hide. A while back from Tory Burch, I'll pop a picture up, I got this gorgeous cowhide Tory Burch Lee Radswell bag and within like a couple of wears I had a complete bald spot and that taught me that okay maybe cowhide is the problem because I knew it wasn't Tory Burch I took it back to the store they you know fully accepted the return um, unfortunately it wasn't something that could be exchanged they didn't have another bag that was like sold out at that point and wonderful experience, didn't have any issues, and I have not had any other quality issues with Tory Burch. And when I've done research on animal hide bags, the biggest thing that people say is it sheds. It is a natural product. It is the material, the nature of it. You wouldn't get a beaded bag and then be upset that over time, some beads are gonna fall off. You just already know it's a more delicate bag. And that is the same thing when it comes to animal hide bags is you don't get an animal hide bag and be upset that it's shedding. However, I am okay with shedding over time. I'm not okay with a complete bald spot. And this bag, taking it out of the box, there's already a few little white hairs on the box. On the inside of this box, it's black. Um, let me empty it out. You can see it's a black box inside. There's already a few little white hairs and that just makes me afraid. Another thing is if this bag was just a top handle, I would have kept it. Honestly, I would have kept it, it's gorgeous, but because it's going to be rubbing against my clothing and the front of my arm is gonna be rubbing on it, I just don't think it's practical and for $575, for me that's still a lot of money to be spending on a bag the material is the issue. It's not the brand. I actually want to get another Nia bag because this style is just so chic, elegant, I love it. I saw that they have this braided leather bag. I'll pop it up in the Nia bag style. I think that for summer is so fun, so fresh. I love that it has texture, but it's a neutral color. I can see myself wearing that all throughout summer. So that's probably the one I'm going to get from Brandon Blackwood. But honestly, for a real animal hide bag, real leather, $575 is an amazing price. But for me to get an animal hide bag, because I still just need to curb that itch. Like I just want it. Um, I found one from Etsy, it's like $200. I'll pop a picture up, I'll link it down below as well if you're interested but that's gonna work better with my lifestyle. It's also just a top handle, it's not gonna be rubbing against my clothing, 
and I won't feel bad if over time it starts to shed the same way that I will for this one because those extra $375 can go a really long way for me in terms of jewelry, clothing, other pieces. So this just will not stick around, but I'm still thinking about it because it's honestly just so, so beautiful. Also y'all, this is a synthetic wig and I did my best to make it look natural because I'm going out tonight with my boyfriend. We're gonna go see the new Bob Marley movie, you know, in the nature of Black History Month. Let's just keep it going. But we're gonna go see that and I have not been feeling my hair. I think I've officially decided that I will no longer be doing my own hair. Like I'm tired. I have a little bit of extra change each month that I can put towards my hair. And it's just time. Like I love my hair, but I'm just tired. <laughs> and maybe after having other people do it for a while, I'll go back to doing my own hair, but it was great while it was lasting. I love that I have learned how to braid my hair, how to maintain my natural hair, how to enjoy my natural hair being very short because um, I've cut off all the color. So my hair is no longer like, you know, long and vivacious. It's short and cute. It's not a pixie, but it's like right about here and not as much volume, but I still really like it. I'm just tired of it. But with all of that to say, please let me know if you guys know any ways to maintain hide bags, because I would love to keep it if I can, if it makes sense. Um, if you would keep it, if you think that that Etsy bag is like a really good, not dupe, it's definitely not a dupe, it's a completely different style, but if it still satisfies that, oh, that's a beautiful hide bag for you guys, or if you're like, no, Brandon Blackwood. But let's be real guys, if you only like this bag over the Etsy one because it's a brand, let's think about that. <laughs> um, Let's think about money, let's think about funds, let's be responsible this year. Let's also spend our coins on beautiful designers and beautiful bags, but be practical. So uh, that is all. If you have enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I make fashion, travel content, a little bit of lifestyle, not too much, but I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.